A lot of us will likely be spending some extra time in the kitchen over the holidays, preparing meals for family and friends. Williamsburg-based chef Justin Dallinger is here to share details on a special Christmas Eve event and prepare a special seafood dish for us. Good morning, chef. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you for coming up from Kings Mill Resort. Thank uh, you for having us Where today. things are going to get really fancy <laughs> on uh, Sunday night. And we're going to make some great smells today, absolutely. Oh, well, you've got some beautiful fish here. Yes, yeah, so this is a, a Chesapeake rockfish. This is a, actually a rockfish caught in the Virginia area in the Chesapeake Bay. Um, as you can see, it's a very super fresh fish, and it's a great time of the year to be getting this right now. Um, and we're going to feature this fish on one of our dishes uh, for the Feast of the Seven Fishes uh, that's coming up on Christmas Eve. If we want to recreate this meal at home, what are we looking for when we go to buy our, our, our rockfish? So, so as you see on this rockfish here, you can see that it's, it's got a very shiny look on the skin. Mm -hmm. um, the flesh is very firm. Oh, it's got a great color. It smells very fresh. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, also want to buy from a great fishmonger. Um, also, what you want to have your fishmonger do is actually cut it into these steaks already for you. And then I do a little score on the skin here because you'll see that I keep the skin on my rockfish. Mm -hmm. uh, I find a, there's a lot more flavor in the skin of the fish when you when you cook it with the skin on. And also the skin gets a little crispy and has a little texture to the dish mm, as well. I like that. And you've got some really fresh ingredients here that you're going to work with. Yeah, so we have, uh, we're doing a, a pan seared rockfish with baby zucchini and capers. Um, so we have a bunch of baby zucchinis. If you can't find baby zucchinis, you can use a regular zucchini. I prefer the babies. Uh, they're they're a lot more tender and you can see there isn't any seeds on the inside oh, yeah. so the texture on these are just fantastic I also have some heirloom cherry tomatoes um, these are great they come in all kinds of assorted colors and they got a great citrusy um, acidic kind of bite to them um, I also have some great uh, cured uh, black olives that came from Italy um, and then these guys are actually uh, salted capers um, I prefer my capers uh, to be dry salted instead so not of a brine. Vinegar, not brine correct um, and then all you want to do is just rinse them very lightly get some of that salt off mm -hmm. and then it will add just a salt very floral taste to your dish instead of that vinegary briny taste all right, like let's I cook all right excellent so I have my uh, my pan on here on a, a medium high heat um, and I said we're gonna have a rockfish here I just scored the skin very very lightly just to go through the skin I don't want to cut into the flesh at all then I'm just gonna season that lightly what's uh, the purpose of the scoring so it's gonna do two things it's gonna keep the fish from actually curling up. Mm -hmm. So as, as the fish sears, the skin's gonna curl up and I'm also gonna add, it's gonna make it a lot crispier in the center ah. there. So we're just gonna do a little kosher salt on and both that, sides. Does that help it also cook a little faster? Because you're getting a little bit, yes. from both, heat from both sides. Both sides. And then we're also gonna do just a little bit of fresh cracked pepper on both sides. And what exactly, if you can explain to us, is the Feast of the Seven Fishes? And fishes is grammatically correct, I understand. <laughs> right. It, only this time of the year, absolutely. So, so the Feast of the Seven Fishes is a tradition that we started about six years at the resort on Christmas Eve. Um, it's, it's an American-Italian invention. Um, and, and really, it's just a way to celebrate Christmas Eve during the holidays. Mm -hmm. um, where the, the seven came from, I'm not really sure. Uh, we, we're actually doing more than seven fishes. We're mm -hmm. doing a bunch of different shellfish, clams. Um, we're also doing fried calamari. And we're doing some uh, a cold, a chilled uh, seafood salad as well. It's going to have some baby octopus and calamari all tossed in with a, a vinaigrette. So it's all about the seafood. All about the seafood. We will have a veal dish because it is Christmas Eve yeah. so, and it's King's Mill. So we're going to have a little veal. And we will do a, a chicken piccata dish. Um, and then. In our action station live, one of our chefs will be grilling lobster on top of a saffron risotto oh my as well. Gosh, that sounds you wonderful. should come down. It's delicious. I should. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the invitation. <laughs> Y'all heard that. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so we're going to cook the fish. All right, so uh, again, I have my pan very, very hot. You can see the oil is oh, starting yeah. to shimmer it's just shimmering. a little bit, mm -hmm. and there's just a little bit of smoke. Um, so I'm going to put this fish down, skin side down, into the oil. And again, you saw how I laid the fish down away from myself. So we don't splatter. I don't want to splash myself right. with the oil. Don't want to be wearing the Don't oil. want to be wearing <laughs> Absolutely. And that's not a very thick fillet, so how long is that going to so cook So this is only going to take about two minutes on each side. Mm -hmm. And then you can see, as soon as I put the fish in, it's already starting to curve up just a little mm -hmm. bit. So I'm actually going to push down on it just so, again, because it's going to curl up with the skin. I'm going to push down just to keep it flat mm -hmm. and get a really nice sear on the bottom of the skin. Making you work for it. Making you work. <laughs> that's a good thing. So as that's going, I've already got another saute pan here heating up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to add some more of that great olive oil. And we again, were talking about olive oil earlier. The better, the better, right? Th this is a great quality extra virgin olive oil from Italy. Um, it's, it, it really tastes fantastic. Very grassy, uh, earthy olive taste. Your pan um, was a little hot. The pan's a little hot, so <laughs> I'm going to take that one off the heat let it cool just a little bit. 
And, and this, this garnish part is going to go very quickly. So as you see, I already have everything already cut. Your mise en place. Mm -hmm. All my mise en place is in my, my mess is in my place. That's right. <laughs> um, and you want to do this, and also you can do this way ahead of time. So if you have uh, friends and family over for Christmas Eve, you can prep this ahead of time, and this dish will come together very, very quickly. Okay. So we're going to start by just putting in the baby zucchinis. Whoop. And try not to get oil all over <laughs> ourselves. Mm -hmm. Those are beautiful. I'm gonna have to try to find some of those. I've seen I've seen them at, at some of the stores in, in the produce, especially uh, the, these are uh, grown hydroponically, so oh. they, you can get them year round. Now, do you all have a garden at King Cook? We have an we have an herb garden right now, mm -hmm. um, and we also grow some of our own tomatoes. Uh, but but most of the vegetables we don't just because of the volume we go through. We're we're feeding, uh, you know, upwards of. 900 to 1,000 people a day at the resort across our various restaurants. Wow, now so. how many people will you get in for the feast on so Sunday? So the Feast Seven Fishes will do a little over 200, mm -hmm. um, which, is, which is a great number. A bunch of families will come out. And then on Christmas Day, we have another buffet that we'll do over 500 people for on Christmas wow. Day. that's yeah. amazing. Now, is the Feast of the Seven Fishes, is that a buffet or is that... that... That's going to be a buffet. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's you can kind of come get what you like and then if absolutely. you like as much something as more like. than the other, you come get some more. And then we also do, uh, uh, my pastry chef does a wonderful dessert spread as well. We'll do a, a pan own bread pudding, have a bunch of cannolis, uh, doing amaretto cheesecake, so a bunch of just wonderful sweet stuff to go along with all of our wonderful fish. All right, so I took that off the heat again a little bit because my pan was still just a little hot. Right. And as you see, once the zucchini starts getting this really nice, beautiful brown color, mm -hmm. we're going to start adding the other vegetables. We're going to add some of these beautiful cherry tomatoes. Right. We're going to cook in colors. TV time, so things have to go a little bit faster than they all would in, right. in the restaurant. And then we got the, the great olives, olives, the capers. So really a very Mediterranean dish. Right. It's, it's kind of a play on a, a Sicilian puttanesca in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite, uh, the anchovy. Gotta have and the you said that, that adds just a whole nother layer. Just a whole nother layer, a little savoriness um, and salt. And as you notice, I didn't put any salt in this dish at all because I've got plenty of salt from all the other Between ingredients. the capers and the, yeah. And the olives. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to flip the fish. So as you can see, the fish is getting a really nice brown color. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go underneath and get that beautiful skin. Oh, good job, Chef. And you can see how <laughs> we got all that wonderful brown and caramelization on there. Mm -hmm. And this is cooking here. Explain to me, this is the finished dish, so you plated it up mm -hmm. how? So, so all, these, all this garnish here is going to go right on the bottom of the dish. Mm -hmm. And as you see, very, very quickly, do a little fresh ground pepper. We got a little chiffonade basil. And really all we're doing is just warming the rest of this garnish. You don't really need to cook it very long at all because you still want some texture in your vegetables. You want a little, little snap in your zucchini. Well, keep going and start plating, and I'll all tell right. people the Feast of the Seven Fishes is this Sunday, Christmas Eve, at the Kings Mill Resort in Williamsburg. It starts at 5 o'clock. We'll go on till 9 o'clock. We'll put uh, a link to all the details at WTVR.com slash VTM. And, Chef, this looks absolutely beautiful. Again, the finished dish is here. Uh, you're finishing it up with our fish, like you said, just a couple absolutely. of minutes on each side. Absolutely beautiful. Happy holidays to you, and hope you get a big crowd on well, Christmas Eve. Thank you very Eve. much. Thanks thank so you. much for coming in.